In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat Quaylag. I always say, if you can, bring an NPC. Mildred's pretty much useless for this fight, but I just do it anyway. She'll keep her distracted so I can try and show you the bow technique. Now essentially, if you shoot Quaylag in the body part of her, you can keep her stunned if you're good with a bow. I happen to not be good with the bow whatsoever, but I'm gonna try and show it to you anyway. As you can see, I'm just missing horribly over and over. So we'll speed this up because I just do horrible with the bow for a while. But I do get it eventually, so it is a viable strategy if you are good with the bow. There's Mildred, doing awesome, repeatedly running into the lava. If, now, if you can actually hit her, it's all about the timing. You can't let your arrow loose too quickly. You have to do a full pullback and wait and then shoot. A full pullback, wait, and then shoot. Each time it will stun her. And you can basically keep her locked up like that, and she can't do anything for almost the entire fight. Now, it's made even easier if you have Mildred or someone that actually has a brain in there fighting for you to keep her attention while you shoot her with arrows. Eh, I did it. All right. I'm really low on arrows, so pretty soon I'm going to be showing you how to beat her with melee. What to watch out for when to go in to hit her, all that good stuff. Now one of Quelag's most devastating abilities is this AoE explosion. That dome will do massive damage to you if you get hit by it. You want to make sure that you're looking out for that. That's her most devastating move. I figure, you know, I got one arrow left. Might as well try and shoot her with it. Alright, now that Mildred's dead and I have no more arrows, I can show you the melee aspects of the fight. Now what you're actually looking out for is when Quaylag bends down over the spider and does the explosion move. When you see her bend down like that, you gotta get out of there. What you're basically looking for is when the spider puts his head down to spew lava. Now the move you're looking for is this one. He actually turns his head to the side of it. 
See, you gotta get out of there when, he's, when she bends down like that. You don't really want to attack the spider from behind. You kind of want to hit him in the abdomen or in the head from the sides. What you're looking for in the spider's lava spray is when he puts his head down and comes up from the side. That means he's going to do the spray in the U. You want to get up right next to his head and start hitting him right up close to him. The whole spray will miss you and you have a lot of time to get some attacks in. But usually not long after she'll try and do the explosion attack. Now with her sword attack, she does swipes that go left and right in a thrust. They're easily dodgeable by just backpedaling. The only thing you have to do is watch out for the lava that she's already thrown down on the ground. Make sure you don't backpedal into somewhere that's not safe. Beyond that though, you can see that she's easily avoidable with those sword swipes. So basically that's it for melee, you just kind of backpedal, watch where you're going, make sure you don't run into any lava, and go in when the spider puts his head down and then turns it to the side, not when it puts it down and comes straight up.